Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Jacqueline Yvonne, and this is Talk About. Now, joining me today, hailing all the way from Selma, Alabama, is Army Robinson. Welcome, Army. Thank, Thank you for you. being here today. Thank you. Well, as you probably can see behind me is this beautiful quilt, and we're going to be talking about that in a few minutes. But first, I want to just kind of uh, get a back, some background information on you about the quilting. How long have you been quilting? Um, I started quilting in 06. In 06? Uh-huh, June of 06. And you remember back in June of 06, <laughs> the actual month. Well, yes. what happened in that month that makes you remember that so easily? Well, I wanted to commemorate uh, our jubilee um, about the Edmund Pettus Bridge and our jubilee once a year, that we have once a year. And I just wanted to um, show, have a beautiful display that I would display every once a year. Mm -hmm. And so it just dawned on me to, what a better way to express myself is to invent a beautiful quilt. So when you started back in June, uh, was it, you said 06? 06. Um, did you take any classes prior to that time or was that actually when you first started um, uh, taking, were you self-taught? How did you learn? Self-taught. Oh, yes. okay, wow. Uh, my mother mm -hmm. used to quilt, but I really didn't pay attention. And it's just from my crochet work, mm -hmm. I just put my quilt together. Well, it just inspired me so. So let's talk yeah. about that very first quilt because you said back then you were inspired and you mm -hmm. had an idea or concept mm -hmm. of a quilt. Right. How long did it take you um, when you were first starting to complete a quilt? Um, I really was surprised. Uh, I thought it would take longer, but it actually take it took about 30 days. And that's all for your very that's first all. quilt. Very first and, quilt. And what was the, the first one like? Why don't you tell us about that? Well, it was slightly, just a little different from the present one. Mm -hmm. um, I put the Africans at the bottom and I hand embroidered each name of the actual people who were there on Bloody Sunday. Wow. So, th so then let's, we don't want to keep the viewers in mystery, so let's talk about this beautiful quilt here and then maybe tell us about the difference between this one that we're seeing here and the mm -hmm. one you originally did. Okay, uh, the first one that I've done, um, I like I said, I hand embroidery all the names of the people who were actually there. And um, I said, well, I have to make it like art on fabric. So I created the clouds and I decided to put silk clouds. You know what, we're jumping and ahead of ourselves. Our Let's at first share okay. what this history is all about because our viewers may not all know about okay. this bridge. So tell them a little bit about that first and then let's go into more about the quilt. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a bloody Sunday to give black people all over the world a right to vote. And, um, and it's called, now we celebrate it as Jubilee. And it's a yearly event that we have in Selma, Alabama. And it commemorates uh, so many wonderful people, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, because it was hundreds who took place in this march. Mm -hmm. and, um, and when you talk about Bloody Sunday, obviously that tells you that there was some kind of violence or something. Oh, so yes. um, yes. give them a little bit of history about yes. that, what occurred it, that, that uh, march, during that march. Yes, um, on March 7th, it really was a bloody Sunday. Uh, they had horses, you know, triumphant over uh, the people. They would beat them in the head, uh, tear gas. It was actually a bloody Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was just terrible. Um, and so this that was March 7th. Mm -hmm. And uh, the march started from Selma mm -hmm. and on Highway US 80. And um, they would march. It started out like 600 people. Lot, many people from around the world came to participate. Mm -hmm. And um, so, by, it's, like I said, it started out 200 people, I mean 600 people, I'm sorry. And by March 21st, it was 3,200 mm -hmm. marchers. And they would march 12 hours per day. And they would sleep along the highway in fields because uh, from Selma to Montgomery, which is the capital, mm -hmm is 50 miles. Mm. So uh, by the time March 25th, it was 25,000 wow. 
when they arrived to the capital, wow. Montgomery, right. Alabama. Right. And it really changed a nation. And this, uh, the heart of, of the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. a lot of the activities that occurred mm -hmm. back then. And, right. Yeah, a lot of our young people don't really understand a lot of the That's history true. today, mm -hmm. so it's really important to kind of Very. talk about that and, and keep mm -hmm. those memories alive. Right. And that's exactly what you've done here. Yes. So let's talk a bit more about your okay. quilt and what you're showing here mm -hmm. on the quilt. Um, uh, when I decided to, um, to do the uh, bridge, I visualized the bridge, making sure, because I love art, to make sure I had the right fabric. And I wanted the sky, so I chose blue and I wanted to throw in the clouds. And um, one of my agents, he didn't like the butterfly, but I did. <laughs> Turns out Dallas County is the capital of butterflies. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that went very well. Mm -hmm. And I put Bloody Sunday at the top and hand embroidered all the names, something that I learned from high school mm. at Selma High in a commercial sewing. So I would work maybe four to five hours per day, mm -hmm. you know and give myself a break and um, in about within 30 days I finished it. Wow and so it takes you about 30 days it sounds like with most of your quilts mm -hmm. at this point in time oh, which I think that's pretty fast That's uh, a lot of yeah say. Uh -huh, because yeah. I know my mom is a quilter mm -hmm. and, and she probably does several projects at one time mm -hmm. but it, mm -hmm. it takes her several months Wow. you know, to um, complete her quilts. And uh, she's been doing it for some time as well, too. So now let's talk about some of the imagery that we see on your quilts. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing down at the bottom here, you have some uh, uh, photos. And, and tell us how that works with the photos. Tell yes. us how that works with, with the, the photos. Silk screen uh -huh. photo. Um, it's one where Martin Luther King Jr. marching mm -hmm. and uh, Jimmy Lee Jackson, you know, he was killed um, defending his mother. Mm -hmm. And they have a a commemoration and, of him once a year. And in jail, you know, when Martin Luther King Jr. went to jail. Yes, uh-huh. I have that, I wanted to have that silk screen because it was important, you know, when he written the, wrote the letter mm -hmm. in Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And um, the different churches and uh, let's see, um, August 6th, you know, 1965, mm -hmm. when President Johnson, uh, you know, put it into law mm -hmm. to uh, for the civil rights movement. Okay. Yes. Okay. And about Just how many, so many how many names. names do you have on your on this particular quilt? About forty three. About forty three. Who who are some of the names other than Martin Luther King and, and uh, who who are some of the names that you have listed? Okay, Lafayette, uh, Reverend Lafayette, Jesse Jackson, Jose Williams. We have uh, James Armstrong, Attorney J. L. Chestnut Jr. Mm -hmm. Uh, just so many. Okay. So uh -huh. I really improved this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Like and, I say, at first it was just to dis for a display. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when I realized it really had some, it could be more, become more. So I researched, I redone my research and I added more. So also too, I know that um, this, we, this is just one side of the quilt and we'll show some uh, pictures of it. Okay. Uh, we'll have a picture of the back side, but the, you have a, it's a double sided quilt. So mm -hmm. you can actually turn it over and you have right. patchwork on the right. other side and we'll show that. Yes. So, okay, it's uh -huh. called pitch patch. Okay. And my mom used to, you know, make old quilts mm -hmm. and she would just put all her patches together. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give it that old look. Okay. So <laughs> I added all the colors, uh -huh. yes, to it. Now, now you not only uh, do you do the quilting, mm -hmm. you um, do other types of crafting. Why don't you talk right. about that? Okay, I do uh, a craft called uh, Plast of Paris, to where as you mix only water, and you uh, have your molds, you fill your molds, and you can dump the plaster out within 15 minutes. Then you trim it, set it aside, and it until it dries, and then that's the fun part. Then you can begin to paint, mm -hmm. and that's that's the most part I like about uh, Plaster Paris is the painting. Mm -hmm. But they're beautiful. I have a large uh, plaque of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. All types of kitchen plaques, mm -hmm. like the little egg and the skillet and bacon. That's a big hit. And the little fruits. You have eight fruits, and each fruit has a face, and uh, just so many little things. Bible sets, uh, African hats. Lady and Man and Mr. and Mrs. Calhoun. And you had a couple of uh, hats here um, yes, that you had.